The little free meter S2111 is done. Not my favourite meter machine, I'll be honest. But it's come up okay. We have some post for it to do something with and see how it works now. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Oh, the problems I have had with this give me a nice Mila S5 any day of the week. It's just so horrible to take apart. I mean, you've got it's, it, it clips together more than it screws, which is weird for a Mila. It makes it quite a lot more difficult to take apart. The way that this speed adjustment knob works is truly terrible and I, I really don't like it at all but it's it's done it's cleaner it's had a bit of a polish it's quite clean really over here we have the hose which came up very nice it now has a full set of tools some aren't genuine but they're all 35 millimeters which will be absolutely fine because I'm just going to sell this. This is a seller. It was always a seller. The two ones, I got rid of this broken clip that holds these on. We don't need to worry about that. And the floor tool, the nice fibre tech floor tool is looking a lot cleaner than it did. But obviously inside is still a little bit bare. This, I didn't refit the bag holder because obviously it has no bag in it, which is what we need to look at now. So we'll pop this back on. In here is a service box, because obviously this has no filters and no bag. So I've got a nice service box for it, so I can sell it with a nice assortment of bags and some brand new filters. So. May as well do the top filter because that is very simple because you don't need to cut the filter for the top on these it just sits on like that so we now have a post motor filter we do however have to do something with this and obviously with all the filters there is a template to cut which works very well if you know what size and model of machine it is I don't actually know on this one However, looking at this, we want to actually cut it there on that half line, which doesn't really fit anything. But we don't need to be too fussed about that. We just need to cut a filter nice and big so it properly covers everything up and fit it into place there. Then we can get a nice bag. We have some high clean GN bags, obviously, because this is, this takes N, and with me, then you can just match up the colours. So there's a bag, and I'm going to stick an air freshener just in the top. Actually, I won't stick it there. We'll stick it just in the top here by the pre, no, sorry, the post motor filter. Inside there is all spotless now. It did come up fairly well. It wasn't too bad at all. Right, we'll pop those bags back in there because that will be done for when I sell it. Put those out of the way, put that out of the way, and we shall pull the cable out. Obviously, you haven't heard this since before it was refurbished. as you remembered from that little clip was terrible it sounds a lot better now mainly just due to a fan wash and some new bearings So 
it's only got a little 1600 watt motor in this. The motor was ropey as anything. It came up not too bad. So we have some suction. There's 300 watts all the way. To 1600. And with the floor tool on, to the carpet I lifted that up just with the suction and turn it down a bit. Okay, that's why I don't have to shout out to much. The floor tool is really nice. I do rate these kind of things. The floor tool is quite loud, even on bigger ones. You can still feel it sucking, obviously it's, it's doing something to the pile because it's a deep pile carpet. But even on this carpet, the we go up to the boat setting, that's four the down. Four the down is enough. Lovely, and obviously it parks. You only have a rear parking slot on this cheap model. And the floor tool sits there quite nicely. Obviously the tools fit on the hose. There's no tool compartment on one of these. Really, there's not, <laughs> there's not a great deal more content that I can get out of this. Obviously compared to how it was, it was great. Well, it's, it's great now. The cable's a bit looped up because it's been in the car. So I haven't put it together properly started. It was due to this, I hadn't I hadn't lined up the height controller with the bit on the circuit board properly, so it didn't really have any speed adjustments. So I had to have it all back apart again, fix that, put it all back together again, and now we are at the stage that we are now, where it is working well. And hopefully for 45 odd pounds, I think I shall sell this for. It'll do someone a good turn for a couple of years. Obviously there's some nice genuine bags to go with it. They always help us sail. And I can finally get rid of it after getting it way over a year ago and not really touching it. So another Mila is saved. Working very well, looking lovely. Ready for a couple more years use with somebody else. So. There we go, really. That's about all for this. Oh, I'm gonna hope, I was hoping that would stand up nicely there. Look, so we could, oh, there we go. So, yeah, a couple more years of use for somebody else. I don't like them. <laughs> I'll be honest, I probably won't go for one of these again because they're just, they're just plasticky. These are the cheaper of the mealers that they do. And my goodness, does it show. Keep it good, obviously they'll be fine. They are a mealer, so they do still have better build quality than a N cheap machine. But obviously we've been spoiled here on this channel with a myriad of S5s, S4s, S7s and much better machines than this. But there we go. So, thank you very much for watching this short little after video. And I shall see you soon. Bye-bye.